Hey guys, this is Martin, and I have something a bit different for you guys today. This is going to be my first application review. I haven't done any application reviews before, but I'm really fond of this uh, application, and I decided to give you guys a quick look at it. So it's going to be here beta. It's a mapping application from Nokia. It is sooner or later going to rival Google Maps. It already in some, some ways does, but it just has been uh, made available for Android. Uh, as you might know, Nokia has using has been using these applications for um, Windows phones before, and it is also uh, using them in some cars, I guess. And there were tries on iOS, and uh, now uh, Nokia has decided to partner with Samsung to put this mapping application on Samsung hardware. But for some reason, the beta is available for all. Um, Android phones right now. It's an APK file that you can download and install on basically any Android phone that runs Android 4.0 or above. So I guess most of you that are watching the video should be able to install it on your phone. And the major uh, improvement of this map over, for example, Google Maps is that it's A, completely free, which is not an improvement, but B, it's also uh, available completely offline. So uh, you can download countries by regions, as I will show you, and um, you will be able to use this data uh, for free offline and uh, things like turn by turn navigation are also offline. So let's start off by showing you the UI. So on the top you have these three lines which will bring you to the menu. You can also swipe in from the left to get to the menu. And here you have the choice of maps and drive. So uh, first of all you're in, in maps you get this classic map look. It looks a lot like Google Maps as you'd expect and uh, in Drive you get these GPS turn by turn uh, sort of view there you go right now it's in night mode uh, you have that as well and you can turn around uh, you can ha uh, hit this little uh, icon to to put it back to north north south view and so on uh, pretty standard now let's get back to uh, the menu. Here you have collections next. You can basically star locations. So from your starred locations you can also create uh, sort of, it's like playlists for songs. Here you, you call them collections. You can uh, put locations into different collections like you could for example have collections for restaurants and so on. Pretty handy. Uh, then you can get to the star of the show, which uh, the download maps section. You can see I have Hungary downloaded. I live in Hungary, so uh, that's why. You can go to download more and choose your region. For example, I will choose uh, Europe, and then you can see that uh, these are the countries available for download. Nokia Maps or Here Maps is pretty extensive, so you should be able to use these maps pretty much all over the world. Uh, especially Europe is pretty well covered and the States and some parts of Asia as well so uh, most of the places where you want to use this this is going to work. As you can see the files themselves are pretty big but that's what you get when you have a lot of data and um, let's go back one more uh, you can also use this app, complete, app completely offline so if I tick this it, I'll get a message telling me that uh, now it's offline, but I'll just uh, keep using it online for this demonstration because there's some functions that you can only use when you're online. You have your settings, which you can, uh, where you can set stuff like your units, uh, your preferred storage, and so on. You can leave a feedback, uh, watch the about section, or you can sign up. So in order to keep uh, to use this application, you will probably have to sign in with uh, either a Facebook account or a so-called Nokia Here account. Uh, that is Nokia's own account. It is free for for a sign up, uh, so you don't need to connect your Facebook to this if you don't want to. There's no Google Plus login option right now, but I guess sooner or later that will have to come as well. So let's just return to Maps here, um, and on top here you have the search. Uh, search can also be used offline, so uh, it can find anything that have that has previously been downloaded. And also, you get uh, on top, you get these um, sort of categories. So let's just tap the three dots. And if you say uh, you want to see what, um, let's say, restaurants and bars you have 
say restaurants around you you get the sort of app view first I mean list view first as you can see as I scroll down it uh, loads more and more you can go up by 20s you can swipe it down it looks a bit like Google Maps but I guess it's a good thing so you can see that uh, where I am you have quite a lot of restaurants uh, seems to be uh, pretty pretty appropriate um, let's go back there and you can straight away hit the t hit the little arrow to choose it and so on uh, you also have your basically your history here and uh, so much about that uh, pretty uh, the map has a lot of points of interest so you should definitely be able to find what you're looking for uh, shouldn't be a problem uh, here you have uh, the navigation I guess uh, you can navigate by car by public transport and by walking it works pretty well I tried public transport as well let's let's take a short shot at this like let's say I want to go from my university to for example this place here uh, there you go I have a list of options that I can choose uh, it it has this nice view of uh, time and uh, you can also set when you want to leave or when you want to arrive so pretty good it is fairly accurate I I, I couldn't check everything for now but um, it, the ones that I tried the, the, route, the routes that I tried were pretty pretty accurate and working well you can flip here the direction of course and so on now let's choose one of these you get this little view. It looks a lot like Google Maps, uh, but again, keep in mind that you can do this offline, which is the, the point of this. You get these step-by-step -step, uh, informations, and also you can swipe between the different uh, routes. So you can select this way very handy, if you ask me. Uh, okay, so let's get out of this then. And I guess there isn't much left to show here. Uh, okay, let's uh, here again. You have the stars, which is your collections. Uh, there's nothing new about that. You can put any of the any of the locations in your stars there. You could hit the location, the locate me button there, and uh, you also have these layers. So uh, before anything, before I start with the layers, let's just take a look at uh, what the maps look like when we go close up. So if you go close enough. Uh, close enough you should in theory mm -hmm. now for demonstration purposes it does not want to demonstrate let's go to a place where I know it should work okay so as you have seen before yeah there you go so you have these sort of 3d uh, pictures that show you the buildings uh, you can of course uh, rotate around like this and then you can also change your view in this dimension so that is pretty cool and then for the more important buildings that aren't just uh, residential buildings you have this sort of view that gives you an approximation of, of what the, the building will look like uh, in real life so that is pretty cool now let's go over to layers then again here you have satellite let's just go have a view like this um, as you can see it looks pretty good I guess maybe Google Maps is a bit more detailed I'm not very sure here correct me if it's not but um, it looks pretty good good enough to to let you see what's going on uh, roughly as you can see there's a lot of points of interest everywhere so you should be pretty fine here I guess Google Maps is also a bit better in points of interest but it is definitely usable this way already and then of course you could swipe up here you could uh, collect it to your favorite places and share the, the location and you could navigate to it straight away so um, what else do we have here uh, you can if you are online oh no, uh, if you're online you can uh, overlay this um, map let's just go back to the map view uh, you can overlay this by traffic as you can see it will uh, take up some data and now there you go so you have this sort of uh, colored uh, 
line showing you which of the routes are uh, have congestions which are free uh, and so on. So that's pretty pretty handy. You need, of course, you need internet for that because that is in real time. And then you can overlay it also by public transportation like that. For example, now you see the uh, metro lines in Budapest. So um, if I haven't forgotten anything, then this should be uh, as much as I wanted to show you guys. This is a pretty cool app. I definitely recommend you guys to download it. It is free, at least in this uh, APK version. Uh, I'll put the download link in the description of the video. And also there in the description of the video, you will find a link to my YouTube channel, my Google+. Plus. Uh, I definitely uh, recommend you to subscribe to that. And I, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And I will see you guys in the next one.